Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 6 Italian destroyer, the Avier. Being an Italian destroyer, she has one of my favorite consumables in the game, the creeping smokescreen. Another thing of note on this destroyer is that unlike the Paolo Emilio, she actually has decent range torpedoes, 10 kilometers. On the other hand though, her main gun range is extremely short only 6.9 kilometers with a 6.4 kilometer concealment radius. So, basically, they have to see you for you to be able to even try to shoot them. Anyway, this is a tier 6 to 8 battle, and that's a Benson over there. She does have SAP, but SAP is not actually that great unless you get off like a single shot or a few shots only because damage per minute wise, she isn't that great. On the other hand though, Burst is pretty decent for a destroyer anyway. The reason I love Creeping Smoke is because you can just keep moving at full speed. Now this has some downsides if the opponent has Hydro or Radar, because you'll be blinding yourself, right? You can't sail out of the smoke until, well, it just dissipates. On the other hand though, you can hide pretty well and rush someone for example oh a submarine anyway one of the things about the short range is that i heard a while ago at least now i don't know if this is true but i heard that uh, your maximum range affects your vertical dispersion now i don't know if this is true or maybe it was true i don't know this but for a ship like this, with extremely short range, I think this is where it would become apparent. Anyway, we're fighting the submarine. I'm just gonna reverse towards him. Just slightly, because I imagine the submarine will be heading in roughly this direction. I don't really want to fight the Benson Heaven. Oh, there's the submarine. I mean, as long as he keeps pinging, we'll know where she is. Oh, I ran into the island. Okay. I'm just waiting to see the submarine again, because I definitely am going to drop depth charges on top of her. I don't think she expects me to have turned around completely like this, though. Because why would you do that, right? Now we're going to get... Oh, there she is. But now she also gave away her position, so we're going to just depth charge her immediately. She was definitely aiming at me, I think. Because there's nothing else to ping there. Ooh, seven hits, eight, nine, come on, ten. Okay, are we going to be okay? Yeah, we're going to be okay. But we got her. Benson's back for round two. Luckily, the island blocks things in the way. Nice. Hmm. I guess I'll just stop and reverse. I have my smoke screen up again. So if necessary, I can use that. But I think at this point we could actually take the Benson. I mean, I have 10,000 HP still. Maybe some torpedoes? Hmm. I'm just gonna keep reversing until I potentially see her. Hmm. RPF is so useful here, though. Man, playing a destroyer without our... Oh, there she is. Wait, I think the uh, vertical dispersion thing might be correct. Wow, that was horrible. Look at how... <laughs> wow. So vertical dispersion or basically affects whether shells go over the ship or fall short and by how much, right? And man, that, that looked pretty goofy. Okay, well... Maybe it's true, because, I mean, a few examples it doesn't necessarily mean that it is true. But I should try to chase him down, though. I was thinking of going into the B-cap, but with the cruiser being in there, I decided not to. I want to go after the Benson. Because if I could just find this Benson, I think we'll get a... We'll basically secure this flank, right? I mean, look, there's no ships left on this flank other than the destroyer. So... This would be pretty good. 
But unfortunately, the Benson seems to have gone behind the mountain, so... I guess I'll head back to the cap, because I th imagine that's where she's gonna come, right? And maybe we can inter intercept her. I sh definitely should win this fight. Because, I mean, it's just the Benson, right? And I have 7k HP still. Hello, Benson. What is that? Where did that battleship come from? I, I swear, the minimap didn't... It, it wasn't there before. What the hell? I need to just run in a straight line. I swear, I didn't notice that Tepets at all. That was a complete surprise to me. Luckily though, the uh, creeping smoke allows me to run away, although I imagine a regular smoke would have done just about the same thing. Now the only question is whether my smoke screen will run out before I get far enough. I'm definitely gonna have to give up on the cap, because even if I land torps it's probably not gonna be enough. I still have some HP left, so even if I do get spotted for a bit, it, it'll be fine. Oh, she's at 6.9 kilometers. Maybe I could just shoot her a few times, right? Because I'm right on the edge of detection. Yeah, let's just slow down a little bit. Wait until she gets back to 6.9. We take a few pot shots and uh, then, you know, we just keep running. Wait, why am I spotted? I am far away enough that... Oh, no! Oh, my, uh, my, <laughs> I'm running uh, Sunsun Eddy, so my main battery range increased when I sank a ship. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm down to a thousand HP. These secondaries are pretty brutal. I mean, right now we're at the edge of my concealment, right? Or firing range, so. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, surely. Surely. Yes! Whew, 283 HP more than you actually need. But we did manage to decap the tippets. And she kept going at full speed, meaning that she's probably going to actually sail out of the cap zone. So, in other words, we did actually hold on to the A cap for a little while. But the question is, now what? I did launch some torpedoes, but honestly, I don't expect them to hit. Chances are pretty high that the Tepets will simply try to stop to try to enter the cap again. Which is exactly what she did. She slowed down, although she's still not quite stopped yet. But, you know, I have a creeping smoke screen, right? Maybe I could use this to great effect. See, landing torpedoes from far away is pretty difficult. But when you get close, it becomes pretty damn easy. So... Why not try that? I mean, I can perfectly sneak up on the steppets with the uh, island right here. And all I have to do to try to even survive this is not get within two kilometers of the steppets. This isn't as easy as you think, because when you're trying to do a drive-by, it gets pretty tough to gauge the exact distance, because you want to be as close as you can, but not too close so that you actually get spotted. With my HP, I'll just die to like one secondary shell. So I'm gonna just speed boost and smoke screen. And I don't think the Tuppets can do anything to stop what's gonna happen here. Because uh, she was reversing until now. She sees the smoke screen, but what's she gonna do? Well, she torpedoed, but are you gonna try to take a shot? I think she should. I would have. But uh, with her current position, she can't really dodge these torpedoes. And hey, we never got within two kilometers, so all we have to do is just keep sailing away. And as long as the torpedoes hit early enough, we'll be fine. Goodbye, Tepets. It is my A cap, not yours. By the way, this is one thing I really like doing with the Paolo Emilia as well. Just get close enough to drop the torps, but don't get too close to actually get spotted. This way you can keep your ship alive. I mean, I did this with 284 HP. And I didn't get even shot. Now there's just the submarine to wrap up, which is whatever, right? It's gonna end immediately, basically. Okay, it took a little longer than immediately, but all's well that ends well. 
For a tier 6 destroyer, 58,000 damage is pretty good. It's not massively impressive, but this ship is a lot of fun. Like, genuinely, a lot of fun. And considering we were in a tier 8 game, yeah, 1945 base experience. Because we did fight a tier 8 Tuppets, a tier 8 Submarine, and a tier 8 Benson. And we sank all three of them. And basically on our own, more or less. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.